to Random Financing Podcast. I'm Christine Mills. I'm so happy you came to join me today. I have some new listeners and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking part of your day to join me here on this entrepreneurial journey where I share with you all the tidbits I'm learning along the way as well as information you need uh, to finance your company uh, as well as any entrepreneur advice um, that I can share with you. If you need more information on Veranda Financing, just check out www.verandafinancing.com. Also, if you like this episode or previous episodes, please be sure to rate it and subscribe so you can hear of all the upcoming uh, episodes. Today, I'm going to discuss something and the title of this uh, podcast episode is Why You Need to Develop the Skill of Entrepreneurship Now Rather Than Later why you need to develop the skill of entrepreneurship now rather than later. You know, when you really think about it, um, there are entrepreneurs, people who've been selling cookies and lemonade (laughs) since they were five years old and babysitting. But then there are others who were kind of forced into entrepreneurship due to necessity or um, the the economy. But I am speaking to people who may not have a desire to start a business, but I really do believe everybody needs to develop the skill, especially in today's economy. Jobs are being outsourced or automated. So it's true that companies are finding ways to cut costs to improve their efficiency. One sure way of accomplishing this is by creating or paying for software to do certain jobs. Once upon a time, you know, to get a loan, you will have to go through multiple steps. Now, when you think about it, there's technology that creates lending platforms that assess your risk in seconds. You know, think of Rocket Mortgage, how quickly you're able to get back a response. So when you're thinking about companies finding ways to make it leaner and stronger um, machines, you have to know where you fit into this equation. And if you don't fit into this equation, how would you survive? And that leads me to my second point. Entrepreneurial thinking is beneficial in, for any organization. So if you want to be a lifer and you want to work for your company, which is great, um, you will still benefit your company and grow in your company by having original thinking. Point blank, entrepreneurs solve problems and companies need people who can help them solve their company's uh, problems because problems are ever reaching and ever evolving, especially with how quickly the world is flying by. And entrepreneurship forces you to be very flexible and agile and being able to pivot. And all these uh, tools and skills are very useful in any organization you work for, whether it's a nonprofit or for profit. So if you can hone those skills as an entrepreneur, it'll be very beneficial wherever you decide to go. Number three, entrepreneurial skills take time to develop, and it's a lot less stressful to learn them when you don't need it for your livelihood. Entrepreneurial skills take time to develop, and it's a lot less stressful to learn them when you don't need it for your livelihood. You know, my father, he's an excellent swimmer, and he actually learned to swim in rural Jamaica, where they just pretty much pushed them into a river and it was sink or swim. Sink or swim actually helps people swim, but there are some people who've drowned with that sink or swim um, uh, tactic. And I think that sink or swim may be good for entrepreneurs. You know, you hear stories of people like, I lost my job, I had no other choice. And I think that's great. But some other people, that could be disastrous because you could be paralyzed by fear or inactivity. But I think it's nice to tinker around with entrepreneurship while it's not really your livelihood, but you could kind of figure it out and see what works and experiment. So it's best to get the skill while you don't really need the skill, if you understand what I mean. It's best to try to hone the skill, even if you don't need it at this point. Number four, you will always know how to make a living, even if you are not employed. You know, if you know how to make money, which is very different than working for someone, you will always be employed, whether that's by yourself or by someone else. And, you know, either way, you'll find a way to make money. Um, And I think that's a skill that uh, you can lose if you never have to fend for yourself or find a way to make money 
and um, pay for your future and for your family and secure resources. So as an entrepreneur, you learn to see opportunities and to meet needs so that it could be beneficial to your customers as well as to your bottom line. Number four, increases your skill set and broadens your scope. Entrepreneurship increases your skill set and broadens your scope. You know, usually when you're hired for a job, they hire you for a specific duty and responsibility. When you're an entrepreneur, you're wearing so many hats that you're able to gain so many skills that you may not have had to use when you're working for someone. Um, You're negotiating, um, you are doing sales, you're doing marketing, uh, you are doing operations. You're wearing so many hats because you have to be all those people, especially initially. So it, it really helps you to explore it and see what you actually like. And sometimes you don't have the opportunity in some organizations. I will say most organizations, um, you don't really have the opportunity. But with entrepreneurship, you do. So if you want to learn more about IT or a certain software, you could really tinker around with it while you are growing your company. So just to repeat uh, the five reasons why you should really consider starting a side business or um, develop uh, your entrepreneurship skills is one, jobs are being outsourced or automated as right now as we speak, that is happening. So it, you might see it in your industry today or someone else's industry tomorrow. Secondly, entrepreneurial thinking is beneficial to any organization Number three, entrepreneurial skills take time to develop and it's a lot less stressful to learn them when you don't need it for your livelihood. Number four, you will always know how to make a living even if you are not employed. And number five, increases your skill set and broadens your scope. One thing I'll, I encourage you to do after listening to this podcast is to try to start a side hustle. It doesn't have to be any sizable business. It might not even be something you want to do for long term, but try to take, you know, put your toe in to the stream of entrepreneurship and see where it takes you. And you can start small, you know, sell t-shirts, sell content, start and grow a blog. Um, you could create a forum online and see if you can get advertisements. Uh, create an expensive product that you can manufacture at home, such as skincare line or a body scrub and sell it at local craft fairs. Um, sell some of your, um, uh, if you're really good at a craft, try to sell those items and make it a little bit more high end. Just think creatively and see where it leads you. So I am so happy again. This is this concludes uh, my podcast episode and hopefully you'll join me next week. Um, we will be extending this journey and I have some interviews coming up during the summer months. So stay tuned. And again, please be sure to rate this, um, this podcast episode and follow me on, um, Instagram at Verena financing. Take care and God bless.